Welcome to Philosophy Acquired. Today we will ponder on absolutism philosophy. Leave us a follow if you enjoy the episode. Absolutism is a philosophical perspective that advocates for the existence of absolute principles, truths, or values. These absolutes are considered universal and unchanging, providing a stable foundation for understanding the world and guiding human behavior. This idea has manifested in various forms throughout history, from political absolutism to moral absolutism. In the realm of political philosophy, absolutism often refers to a form of government where a single ruler, typically a monarch, holds absolute power and authority. This concept reached its zenith during the 17th century in Europe, where monarchs claimed divine right asserting that their authority was granted by a higher power, such as God, and therefore beyond challenge. One prominent advocate of political absolutism was Thomas Hobbes, whose work, Leviathan, laid the groundwork for the social contract theory. Hobbes argued that to escape the state of nature, characterized by chaos and violence, individuals must surrender their rights to a powerful sovereign, this sovereign, in turn, maintains order and prevents the descent into anarchy. Hobbes' justification for absolutism was grounded in the need for a strong, centralized authority to ensure social stability. Moving beyond the political sphere, absolutism extends its influence into ethics and morality. Moral absolutism asserts the existence of objective and universal moral principles that apply to all individuals, regardless of cultural or situational context. This perspective implies that certain actions are inherently right or wrong, irrespective of the consequences or intentions behind them. One of the most well-known proponents of moral absolutism is Immanuel Kant. Kant's deontological ethics posits that there are categorical imperatives, fundamental moral principles that dictate our duties. According to Kant, Actions must be guided by these moral absolutes, such as the principle of treating others as ends in themselves rather than as means to an end. Moral duties in Kantian ethics are non-negotiable and must be followed regardless of the consequences. Metaphysical absolutism delves into the nature of reality itself. This perspective contends that there are objective truths and realities that exist independently of human perception. Metaphysical absolutism challenges relativistic views that reality is subjective and varies from person to person to person. Instead, it posits a fixed and unchanging reality that humans can discover and understand through reason and inquiry. The philosophical journey into absolutism also encounters opposition. Relativism, as a contrasting perspective, argues that truth and morality are subjective, varying from individual to individual or culture to culture. This challenges the absolutist stance by suggesting that there are no universal, immutable principles. Now, citizens of absolutism. While absolutism has its proponents, it is not without its critics. One major critique comes from proponents of relativism, who argue that the idea of absolute truths or values is untenable. Relativists posit that truth and morality are culturally and individually determined varying across societies and individuals. From this perspective, the very notion of universal principles becomes suspect. Additionally, critics argue that absolutism, particularly in its political form, can lead to authoritarianism and the abuse of power. History is replete with instances where rulers claiming absolute authority have oppressed their subjects, leading to unrest and at times, revolution and a lack of checks and balances inherent in absolutist systems can result in tyranny and the disregard for individual rights. Nuances in absolutism. Within absolutism, there are nuanced variations that address some of the criticisms leveled against it. For instance, while moral absolutism asserts the existence of universal moral principles, there is a distinction between absolutism and ethical objectivism. Ethical objectivism acknowledges the existence of objective moral truths, but allows for the possibility that these truths might be unknown or undiscovered. This allows for a more flexible interpretation of absolutism, recognizing the limitations of human understanding. In political philosophy, there are also variations within absolutist thought. Constitutional monarchy for example, introduces a legal framework that limits the powers of the monarch. 
and establishes a system of governance where the ruler's authority is constrained by a constitution. This form of absolutism seeks to balance absolute authority with the protection of individual rights and the rule of law. Contemporary relevance. The question of whether absolutism is relevant in contemporary philosophy is a complex one. In a world characterized by cultural diversity and rapid societal changes, the idea of universal, unchanging principles faces challenges. However, certain aspects of absolutism persist in contemporary thought. In ethics, the debate between moral absolutism and relativism continues. While some ethical theories like consequentialism and virtue ethics may challenge absolutist positions, deontological ethics maintains a place in contemporary moral philosophy. The idea that certain actions are inherently right or wrong, regardless of context, remains influential. In politics, the concept of constitutionalism can be seen as a modern adaptation of political absolutism. Many democracies operate within a constitutional framework that establishes fundamental principles and limits on governmental power. This allows for a balance between the need for authority and the protection of individual rights. Metaphysical questions about the nature of reality persist with ongoing debates between realists and anti-realists. While some argue for the existence of objective truths, others question whether reality can be known independently of human perception. This is the end of the episode. Listening to an episode many times may help you memorize and utilize its information more effectively.